the last 35 years of the National Football League that I, that I know the league, Mike Haynes is the best corner. Mike could play deep if he had to, he could play tight bump, he could play off bump, he could, he did everything. I like to say that a great player will have two or three qualities that set him above everything else, but there's usually a quality or two that they're not quite good at. Haynes had no flaws. You couldn't find him. Ask him to be physical, he'd do it. Ask him to blitz, he could do it. You wasted him if you did that because he could cover anybody. And he would just mirror you, just mirror your steps. He could shut a guy down all by himself. Those guys you can't find. They're just rare freaks of nature. After seven seasons in New England, Mike Haynes joined the Los Angeles Raiders in November of 1983. He wore the silver and black until 1989 and was twice named an All-Pro. Mike was like the gentleman Raider. He was kind of outside the mold of what the Raiders are supposed to be on and off the field. Mike was a please and thank you guy. He didn't make any noise about anything. He just played. But when he steps out into the field and he shuts everything down, we didn't care. We didn't care if you sell pink flowers, knock yourself out. It's really a tough position. You have to like a good challenge, and you have to understand that even though they beat you on this one play, that that was just this one play. You need to be able to step back in the huddle and come back again with the same enthusiasm and passion and belief in yourself. That 83 Raider team, I'll put that defense against anybody, anybody. And the whole key was Mike Haynes. Oakland's 1983 season culminated in Super Bowl 18. In that game, Haynes was instrumental in shutting down a Redskins team that at that time was the highest scoring team in NFL history. This guy wasted no motion, nothing. Probably the most efficient player mechanically that I've ever watched. To me, he's the standard by which all corners are measured. 